Ooh, welcome man, welcome back to the channel guys. I'm gonna pull apart. Now look what I'm coming up on. All right, it's two PT Cruisers side by side. This one's a 08, this one's a 07. Now I wanna run some by my PT Cruiser people right now while I'm out here. I'm gonna pull apart uh, in the Atlanta area. Okay guys, just say, I'll give you a prime example. Just say you have a PT Cruiser, a 08 model. Okay, I typically like to stick with the same year. But in any case, it doesn't work on either one of these cars. It's just the 06. I'm talking about Gen 2 PT Cruisers, by the way. And in fact, this will work on, there go another one right there. This will work on any of them, but try to stick to the same year. All right, let me give you an example. You out in a real rural area, okay? Your car need a piece, uh, PCM. Your car won't start. Some mechanic done drove way out there with a nice, pretty decent scan too. And he tells you that your skim shorted or your module is shorted or your key is shorted okay guys here's a way around that all right now we're gonna pick on this one all right because this one got the hood up already i don't want to do any work but i need to give you out there's another one right there i want to get god it's lot. it's full of pt cruisers look there's some more oh my god it's a whole row of pt cruisers so guys we all understand that the pt cruiser is ending nearing its 20 year mark right <laughs> that is the stage where i think you are deemed antique so i don't care how much you love your pt cruiser it's still an old car or older car some people out there love their pt cruisers to death they have no problem with that but you have to remain realistic when it comes to repairing such a car all right do not break the bank on such a car uh when you can easily come in fact some of these parts on these cars are not even i work at the dealership a PCM you cannot get anymore on these cars. They are discontinued. A lot of parts you can't get on these cars. They're discontinued. Yes, a tip them will work off an older model car on your car. All right, but that is not what this video is about. In fact, we're going to discuss ways you can get around uh, programming of your controller. Now, I did a video, I'm going to link it right here, on a way you can get around needing a program okay in order to get your car to start whatever the reason may be be it you need a PCM be it you need a key be it you need a skim module whatever the case may be here's my suggestion to you we're gonna talk about that when I get right back alright guys like I said we're gonna pick on this black BT Cruiser now say for instance your mechanic tell you man I'm sorry you're gonna need a computer well I, I go get a computer but my last time I got one it wouldn't start Okay, I'm going to show y'all a way. Somebody already got the tip of them out of here. I'm going to show y'all a way around this, right? Go to the Savage Yard. And as you can see, the Savage Yard is full of PT Cruiser. Find you one closest to, closest to the year of yours as possible. In fact, find you one the exact same year. There wasn't a lot of choices on, let's say, an 08 PT Cruiser. There wasn't a lot of choices. So, likely, only one major choice is going to be if the car was equipped with fog lights. But that's not a PCM problem. That's a tip-em problem. This tip-em is gone. But we're going to stick with PCM. So here's what you do. Go to Savage Yard. Send somebody to Savage Yard. Tell them to grab this. Now, keep your finger crossed and go into the inside of the car. Okay? Because hopefully this is in here. Yes, it is. Tell them to grab this, which is the key. And ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, if the key is in here, that means the ignition skim module is in here tell them to grab the skim module that's under here i put a picture right here because this cover is on here all right guys that's all you need to get your car running if your problem is a pcm or key or skim okay one without the other it won't work because let me explain something to you this key is married to this skim module this skim module is married to that pcm you got to have all three do not go to a savage yard and grab two of these because it won't work then you will need you can but you will have to you'll be forced to get it programmed okay you will be forced some people call it a flash update it's not a flash this is a programming you're trying to marry the computer to the car but you can get around that by simply grabbing all three the pcm the skim and ladies and gentlemen the key if the key is not there it's not going to work if the skill module missing, it's not gonna work. If the PCM missing, it's not gonna work. They have to be, they have to be a trifecta. They have to be all three for this to work. You will not need to go to the dealership and get it programmed. Okay? Now, all oh, what is this? What year is this? 
all OAPT Cruiser have the same transmission in it. They all have a 41TE transmission in it. Okay, they're all going to be equipped with the tipper. Totally integrated power module. All right, they're all going to be equipped with a PCM, but they all may not be equipped. Well, we talked about transmission earlier. I'm not sure if 08 had the option of a manual transmission or not, but if it's an automatic, it's the same. So, guys, I don't want this video to be long. I just wanted to inform you guys on how to get around needing a program. You got to keep your finger crossed. Go out there and look for the car that has a key in it. This is going to be a dream choice for some lucky uh, person that needs this. All right. To me, if the key there, everything else is going to be there. I don't know who would grab, unless some dealer guy come out here. Let's say me. I can grab one or the other because, but because I know what to do to, to get it to work. Okay, as far as PCM, if I only need a PCM, me the mechanic at the dealer, that's all I'm gonna get. Okay, this may be 50 bucks. I don't know. It went up. It used to be 30. So this is all I would get because I know how to marry this to the car I'm working on. You don't have that luxury if you don't have the right stuff. Okay, so. You will need to get all three or it will not work. Okay. In fact. Yes. In fact, if you're mechanically inclined, go ahead and grab the the cylinder, the key cylinder. Because if not, you're going to have to recode your, your cylinder to work off this key. Okay. That's the only disadvantage of this whole thing. But <laughs> you just saved a thousand dollars. So how much of a disadvantage of you know how much you're looking for you just saved a thousand dollars surely and this guy is not a joke this is fairly hard to get that key cylinder out. i'm gonna show y'all the pin that you push up and slide outward it can be a pain i have a steering column at at the shop on a pt cruise i'll show y'all how to get that key cylinder out so get the key cylinder out and guys in some cases uh y'all know the ignition switch the history on the ignition switch how they can fail so uh, I don't know if you want to grab that or not. I'll typically go with a new ignition switch, but it's not related to what I'm speaking of. I'm trying to get you a firm way to start your car without towing it. Remember at the beginning of the video, video I said if you're in a rural area, you're 500 miles away from the local, the next local Chrysler dealer. Just do that. Grab all three of those and install them, and they will sync up and start your car. Okay, now. That's all I have, man. I got to keep my, uh, since people want to hang on to these, I will keep speaking about it. Guys, I happen to know everything about the PT Cruiser. I've been, I was around since birth. Day one that this car touched down on the dealership lot. 2000 and, actually 2000, okay, but it was a 2001 model. I was there. They had the chrome wheels on them. Everybody got rid of those wheels and put the nicer wheels on them. I was there, okay. It was fun times it was a nice cute pretty car everybody was happy everybody was getting them one up until <laughs> what some years later we found out the fan was causing a lot of the overheating problem and everybody was blaming the overheating issues on freaking head gasket even though the same engine the same freaking 2.4 liter engine was found in a lot of other chrysler cars the Cirrus, the Stratus, it never had overheating head gasket issue. The same engine. So, guys, it is not the car. <laughs> okay, it is what's attached to the car that would make the car overheat from the start. Okay, it could be the fan, it could be the thermostat, it could be anything. But, guys, don't blame, don't dub the PT Cruise as a prone head gasket problem okay something induced that that overheating those head gasket symptoms okay in the beginning they are merely symptoms something has to induce that okay you got hot to the point where you was able to introduce combustion gases into your cooling system from there you will have nagging overheating problem find out what caused the original overheating problem and fix it you will not have head gasket blown head gasket symptoms all right, God, I get caught up in this topic every time and I get upset every time. I hate when people just yell out, PT Cruiser, but this car right here, guys, same, let me see, I hope this ain't a V6. We're about to look at something. 
Is the hood up? No, the hood ain't up. I'm gonna show y'all some. God, I'm running over time on my video, guys, but hang in there. I wanna show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. Prime X, if this is a four cylinder. Yes, y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Same freaking engine as over there as the PT Cruiser. No, but you never hear people say Dodge Stratus always a known for blown head gasket. This is the same freaking engine, guys. Obviously, this fan is totally different from that car. Or obviously, even the thermostat may be the same. But it, I don't know. It doesn't matter. What's causing the car to overheat initially is what everybody should have been concerned with. It's a done deal now. We're done with it, experimenting with it. Everything is done. What's set in is set in. People wording of the fact is already set in. They're not going to change now. It's too late. It's already etched in their head. When you say PT Cruiser, you think bad head gasket. Bad head gasket. Blown head gasket. This is the same engine, guys. I've worked on a ton of these. Same freaking engine. Same timing setup. Same everything. But no. Nobody walks around saying uh, Sebring, the Chrysler Sebring, they known for bad head gasket. No. Nobody do that. They just want to pick on the freaking PT Cruiser. Shame on you guys for ruining the image of the PT Cruiser. What is this? Oh, this is a 2.7. All right, guys, uh, I got to go, guys. I just wanted to give y'all that heads up. Get all three, man. If you need one, get all three. Two will not work. One will not work. Okay? I'm sorry because the key is married to the skim module. Okay? A key and a PCM will not work. A skim and a key will not work. A skim and a PCM, no combination of two will work you got to have all three okay thank you that's all i have guys i gotta go thanks for watching comment subscribe let me get out of pull apart been here too long i'll see y'all on the next video